Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a sleeping pad to make two different splints. One for an ankle injury, one for a knee injury. Now both of these injuries would be unstable injuries where the patient could not stand up and walk, so you're going to need to carry them out. These are not, uh, this is not a walking splint, but it is a great splint for stabilizing a knee or an ankle and carrying someone out. It adds a lot of protection and it's super comfortable. Easy to do. So the first step in this is to essentially fold, and I think of more of folding, fold each side up a little bit. You know, about, about even like this. So we'll split ankle, same as ankle here. And have the hold on to each one. Have the ankle sit right down in, and you want it to go beyond. You want this splint to go beyond her ankle. Can you pinch that down for me? Okay. In uh, in this one, I'm going to go ahead and use just webbing straps. So the first part that you need to be able to do is just tie a simple overhand knot on a bike. So you fold it in half. Spin it around and tie the knot. Then we'll slide it underneath the splint here. Put that a little bit for And this first one goes around the ankle itself, squeezing it, pulling it in and then tying it on. Now here, I'd like to be able to use a slip knot, so I've got this loop right like this. Pull another piece of the webbing through, and then I'll tighten it up. Now if I pulled on this end right here, it would simply untie. So I get it a little bit smaller like that. Here's the tricky part. I'm going to take and Create this like that and flip it over top. Now, if this end catches, it doesn't untie, but it's really, really easy to untie. Then we'll go back up onto this side and we'll put another one right here. I'm going to keep holding it. I guess I'll use black for this one. So there's that same overhand knot on a bite. There's a great uh, website called animatednots.com and if you're looking to learn how to tie some knots I'd go right there. That's animatednots.com and same process here. Pull that all the way through. Squeeze it snugs it right up. Push it through. I've created a slip knot there just like the last time. Make it a little bit smaller. Come up here again. Twist right like that, and then I'm just going to flip that over, pull it tight. That cinches that foot, the slip knot up. Now I come down here, and I'm going to go around the bottom of that, and that's what really makes this super solid. I get another piece of webbing. Now you could easily use cloth strips if you were backpacking and didn't carry any webbing, didn't carry any camp straps. You could cut that It's a thin, thin uh, parachute cord because that tends to uh, just cut your sleeping pad. Pull that 
tight. And change that. Slip knot. Oh, lost, lost a little bit. Flip it over top and snug it up. Okay, so I'm going to show you a knee splint using the same exact process. Um, you roll it up uh, the the mat in the same way and. Slide it up the person's leg, way up in there. You want to center, you want to hold that with your hands. You want to center the kneecap, first her kneecap, right in the center of the splint. And you want to be able to make sure that this is all nice and wound down here. So with the camp straps, this kid, you need to have them on a river trip. Not likely to have them hiking. If you're out hiking, you can use just some simple uh, cloth rolls that you cut from a pair of extra pants or pretty much anything. I wouldn't use thin rope. Find your knee, put the two middle straps on. You can just leave it sit there. I'll just stick it in there. Feeling pretty sick. And then one last one. And there we go. If I lift up her leg a little bit, you can see that the folds of the pad are just sort of wrapping all the way around the bones. And they're almost going completely around down here and not as much up here. If you have somebody with a bigger leg, obviously there's going to be some space in here and that's absolutely fine. You do want them to just wrap and conform to the bones. And there you have it two splints using the a sleeping pad and some ties to make a really solid knee splint or an ankle splint.